What's up everyone? Big day in the Geek Culture Studio. We have so many guys here because as you can see in front of me, this was a device announced in CS just a few weeks ago. It's now on our shores here in Singapore. This is the Asus ZenBook 17 Fold OLED in the house. One of three in the world making its kind of world tour, mind you, to a very selected few journalists. We are lucky to have it in the studios here. Now this is a prototype. We cannot give it a full review. We're gonna give you our first impressions, but this is friggin' awesome, man. Check this out, a 17.3 inch display. You fold it in half, it goes 12.5 inch. It can be a laptop, it can be a display, it has a Bluetooth keyboard. There is so much going on inside of this thing. We're gonna dive into it. Zach, are you pumped for this? Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Zeno, are you pumped for this? Yeah. Gerald, are you pumped? Yeah. That didn't sound too pumped, man. We're gonna get you in the gym, Gerald. 2022, baby. Okay, let's get into this. Let's talk a little bit about specs here for a Now, this is a partnership between Intel and Asus. You got the 12th gen i7 processor. It's the 1250U, so it's the ultra low energy processor inside of this thing. Then you got the BOE display, which Asus is also partnering with because you have a 2.5K OLED display on this. P3 color gamuts, you name it. This thing is stacked. Absolutely beautiful. True, rich, deep blacks. Foldable. Do you see the crease? It's a lot of you can ask that question. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. But let's talk a little bit about the design first and foremost. We'll put the Bluetooth keyboard out of the way here. Let's pick this thing up. The weight is about 1.4 kg without the Bluetooth keyboard. This is about 290 grams thereabouts. Add that on about, you know, my math isn't the greatest, 1.65, 1.69 kilos. You know, it's easy to pop into a backpack, you're good to go. But look at this thing for a second. Absolutely stunning. This is a thing of beauty. And you want to know something? Look at the top. Look at the top part of this. Look at this gloss blue. Zachy, do you see this gloss blue right here? Yeah, man. It's like looking like if you're down in the ocean. Yes. And they look up. Yes. Yeah. It's like light rays hitting the ocean. Is that right? Yeah. Dude, I love that, Zachy. That's know, beautiful. Right? Oh my God! I didn't think about that. You're right. So you know, do you agree with that? Mm hmm. That's all you have to say. Mm hmm. It's beautiful. Zeno's at loss for words. <laughs> It's Zeno. Anyway, let's get back into it for a second here. Now, when we look at this, of course, you do have a five megapixel front uh, camera here. And this display is very durable. You can touch on it, tap on it. This is not one of those soft displays that you have to baby. This is actually a very pretty robust display. Now, again, it's not water resistant. It's a foldable display. But this is more durable than you might think it is because you can actually type on this, you can draw on this. I hear there may be a stylus in the future that you can you know, utilize with this as well. But just looking at this display right now is absolutely stunning. And you go from 17.3 inches to 12.5, just like that. And here's the cool thing. Look at the mechanism that's inside of this. If you go close to this, we'll give you a close up on this. There's actually a curvature in here, so you don't get much of a crease on the display. This is one of the most important things because when we talk about foldable displays, that's the question everybody asks. Is there gonna be a crease? Is it gonna bother me when I look at my content? And the answer is no. You see it, it's there, but it's not gonna bother you so much because it's really well designed. You've got two Thunderbolt 4 ports on this. Of course, you've got your headphone jack because you gotta have a headphone jack on this. You've got speaker ports. You've got speakers right there and uh, yeah, you can charge this with a five watt or 20 watt USB-C charger, and it's a 75 watt battery to this, so it's gonna last you for a pretty decent long length of time on this, no problems at all with that. Talking about the graphics card, you're probably wondering, you probably read this website, but if you haven't, it is a Iris XE graphics card inside of this. It's sort of Intel's built-in graphics card, so this is not going to be a, like a pro art laptop. You're not gonna be running Premiere Pro and you know uh, hardcore Photoshop or anything like that, right? This is gonna be more for your day-to-day -day usage, you know, YouTube videos, watching Netflix, sending out emails, things like that. You can do a little bit of editing on this, but it's not designed to be your pro art laptop that Asus makes, okay? So keep that in mind. But for the most part, this is a very versatile thing because I didn't show you something really cool with this yet. So if we open it up, you see this 12.5 inch display, right? Right. You've seen that. 17 inch display, right? Right. Now you're thinking, but what am I gonna do with the 17 inch display? I can hold it like this and I can, you know, maybe I can read. Yes, you can, you can it's like reading a book. If you want, if you're a, you know, let's say you're a, a musician, you, you're learning singing, you could have your, your score there, la 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 la. You could do this, something like that if you wanted to. I'm not a singer, mind you. What if I showed you that you could actually take this 
move it to the back here, there is a stand. And now, people, now you have a display in front of you, a 17-inch display. You can move the stand back if you want. And then you just take the Bluetooth keyboard, and now I have essentially a desktop computer like this. Now, of course, you can have, you know connect a mouse to it if you want to use it. You can use the trackpad right here, all right in this situation. Now, thinking to yourself, well, what do I do with the Bluetooth keyboard, right? Do I just have to pack that in my bag too? No. As you can see, you want to play one. What do I do with the keyboard? Well, you see these bezels right, right around here? These are actually soft rubber. Feels really good to the touch. It's actually quite, mm, very nice. Anyway, they are meant for another reason as well. I put the keyboard here, it magnetizes. And then I close the ZenBook 17 fold. And now I have a 12.5 inch laptop that I can take with me and I have a keyboard right there, ready to go. I take the keyboard out, don't need it anymore, put it to the side, and we are ready to rock and roll. And I also have a keyboard on the display too. Look at this. This is the future of where laptops are going, guys. I'm, this is it. It's gonna be an all-in-one device. Sooner or later, this is gonna happen. Now, I know everybody like, well, I like my key travel, man. I like mechanical keys. I get it, okay? We have people using mechanical keyboards here. It sounds annoying after a while. Whoa, whoa, fighting words. It's true. It sounds, it sounds annoying, because we can't do any videos when you're typing, Gerald. It's just the truth, right? Right, Zachy? Yeah. Right, Zinho? Yeah, but we all use mechanical keyboards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. And now I have a full-size keyboard in front of me. As you can see right here, we've got notepad right there, so I'm gonna actually be, uh, you know, showing you how it's typing. Zeno is right behind me. What's up, Zeno? There he is. All right, here we go. So, I'm not the best typer in the world, so I'm kind of like a pigeon typer. Excuse me on that one. How did the brown fox Go to the store. Who, who made this sentence up? I did. Quick brown fox jumps over. No, the days, you know? my sentence is how did the brown fox go to the store? That's what I wrote. It has, makes no sense whatsoever. But I just wrote it that because that's what all came to my mind. Right, Zeno? Right. Right, exactly. You just write what comes to our mind. We're, right. cre we're creative people. Anyway, as you can see, you got feedback on this. You got sound. Of course, you can turn that off if you want. But you have a full size keyboard on this. And then you can get into. Emojis, look at this. You love this stuff, Zeno. Zeno, this is all you, baby, right here. Zeno's our TikTok guy, right? All the stuff you see on TikTok is from them. He loves this shit. This is where his wheelhouse is at. Anyway, I can't say shit on the video, but he loves this crap. This is where... <laughs> <laughs> he loves this stuff. This is where his wheelhouse is at, right? So that's where we're at. So we can add a, you know, a little bit of a, you know, gifts. We can add all that great stuff there. We got emojis, hearts, all that. It's all built into the keyboard here. Tap the keyboard to bring it back. If I don't want it anymore, get rid of the keyboard. And by the way, this is a Bluetooth keyboard. You don't even have to use this keyboard with this if you don't want to. If you have a like, keyboard, let's say another Asus keyboard or another brand, like here's a message from our sponsor Logitech. Here at Geek Culture, we love our keyboards, especially with the all new Logitech MX Keys Mini. An elegant and functional keyboard, its ultra-responsive rounded keycaps are super stable and quiet for more productivity. There are buttons to enable dictation, microphone audio control, and emojis. The backlit keys illuminate when you get close and matches the lighting of the environment you're in. It lasts up to 10 days on a full charge or 5 months with the backlights turned off. To find out more about the Logitech MX Keys Mini and their latest range of products, head over to Logitech.com. So one more thing about this keyboard, it's a Bluetooth keyboard. So you can use this on other devices as well. It's not just paired to the ZenBook uh, 17 Fold, okay? So, and even if you have your own personal keyboard that you love that's Bluetooth and you, you feel more comfortable with that, you could also pair it to the ZenBook 17 as well. So you've got some options with it, but I would definitely say this is the keyboard you're gonna wanna get with this because it pairs beautifully with it. It fits right inside of it. It's designed to work with this keyboard. And as a matter of fact, the, the travel on this is actually really nice. It's got nice travel, uh, feels relatively good in the hands. Uh, yeah, I think you're gonna like this a lot. Good option here. And the trackpad is also very responsive, which is important because sometimes a lot of these uh, trackpads can be hit or miss, but uh, Asus did a great job with this trackpad and it really does work well. Okay, so 
I've shown you typing, I've shown you how it folds. But a lot of you out there, you goes, you know, I use my laptop and maybe I'm watching the book of Boba Fett right now. By the way, episode five was awesome, wasn't it? Spoilers! Anyway, you might wanna watch a movie, you might wanna watch a TV series. So how is the display for that? And how is the sound? Okay, again, get ready to be impressed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, uh, we're now on our Geek Culture YouTube page right now and we shoot everything in 4K. We like our 4K. So we're actually gonna show you our, one of our camera reviews I've done here. Hey everyone, what's going on? That's me! We're back, I'm talking about cameras once again, the Canon R3. This is gonna be my long-term review. I did a first impressions, would have put a link right Look at here. this! But back then, I had very minimal time with that camera. I've had this in my hand for the past few weeks over the Christmas for this camera, and it may be months before it comes to your local camera shop or online. So hopefully this video will uh, give you a little relief in the meantime. A big How awesome did that sound, Zeno? Oh, it's loud. You're an audio guy, right? Mm -hmm. That's loud, right? It's loud, but it's good. Zachy, what do you think? Loud and proud. Loud and proud, that's what we like it. But here's the thing with the audio. Now in terms of the bass, it's not really you know built for bass, it's more for the mids and the trebles. So that's where you're gonna hear those highs and mids on this. So if you're looking for that boom, boom sound, you're not gonna get that. Hook up some speakers, you're good to go. But if you're looking just for good clarity, audio, all that kind of stuff, these speakers are absolutely awesome for that. I was surprised that they're able to pump this kind of sound out of a device this thin. This is very, very amazing on this. And we got speakers here on the top and on the side here. So you're really getting this sort of surround audio coming from this device. Now what we're going to do, we're gonna show you a little bit more of the display. We're gonna do it by our special video test that we find on YouTube to show you the rich blacks. And by the way, I can still type on this right here if I want to, the keyboard pops up, we're good to go. So I can bring this down like there, and this is perfect. Think about this, as an artist, as a creative, that I could actually have this as my workstation. I mean, if I'm drawing using Procreate or something like that, and I got a stylus, or if I'm doing some little bit of Photoshop or Lightroom, this is beautiful for that. Wow. Awesome. Honey has never looked so good. Ooh, I'm hungry now. Look at the details on this, seriously. Look at the details. This 2.5K OLED display from BOE, partnered with ASUS on this, is amazing. Absolutely spellbound. I just can't get over this. Think about this for a second. You know, just a few years ago, we were seeing foldable phones come into the play, right? And we had to baby them. You couldn't, you know, people were destroying the screens on accident. There was dust getting into the hinges. There was a lot of issues. It was growing pains in the industry. Coming into 2022, we now have a 17 inch foldable device. Folds a 12.5 inch, it can stand like this. You can have a Bluetooth keyboard attached to this. This is like a three in one device that's going to change how we use tablets, PCs, laptops going forward. Now, again, this is gonna be a, one of those devices that may not fit everybody's needs. Fair enough, it's not meant to. It's meant to push the industry forward. And that's what this thing is doing right here. I can't believe, honestly, I wasn't expecting it to be like this. I thought, okay, foldable 17 inch display, we gotta baby it, is it gonna work really well? But it does so much. They've thought of so many things in this device to make it so usable and user-friendly. I'm impressed. Zachy, what do you think? Yo, I think it's gonna be the next productivity and portability device out there, man. Wow, that's deep. Yeah. <laughs> Zeno, what do you think? It's beautiful. That's all Zeno ever says, it's beautiful. Gerald, come over here, come over here. Come over here a second. Gerald is wearing a nice shirt for this event today. What do you think of the display? Wow, it's very nice. Wow. Right? Wow. 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 We always use this uh, YouTube video for OLED tests. This is impressive. It is, right? Yeah. Those are our thoughts here on the ZenBook 17 Fold OLED from ASUS. Big thanks once again to ASUS Singapore for allowing us to test drive this briefly. Hopefully we'll get the production unit in here sometime soon and we can do a full review on it. With that guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot. Take care, stay safe, 
and we'll chat to you soon. Bye.